In the beginning of this story, Callum Aldrich who is doing cleaning work at some place. He gets a call from a person. He blackmails him into leaking screenshots to his family and friends. Then he call him at a place. Poor Callum reaches that place even though he doesn't want to. But someone has had an accident here, showing his intelligence. He calls the police and tells the situation. But the man pretending to be dead gets up and kidnaps him, knocking him unconscious with a taser gun. DCI John Luther is assigned to the case. They find Surrey's Jones body, who disappeared seven years ago. Martin assumed the body must have been kept on ice. Luther says this isn't a case of wrong place at the wrong time. Someone wanted Callum here and kidnap him. He promises Callum's mother, Corrine, he will find her son. David Roby also stands in the crowd, concerned about Luther's involvement. Roby digs up the dirt on the various illegal acts Luther has committed as a police officer, resulting in him being fired, prosecuted, and imprisoned. David Roby is a wealthy trader and serial killer who blackmail people for their dark secrets. The inmates at Hawksmoor Maximum Security Prison hate Luther, because some of them are incarcerated because of him. He is beaten up while taking a bath. Years later, Kareen gets a call. She hears Callum's voice and gets a location where she can meet him. She reaches a house but it is vacant. But as soon as she goes to a room, she finds handing dead bodies. One of them is Callum. Roby coaxes the parents of other victims to that house. Then the fire spread in this room but Corrine somehow survives. At the window, she sees an unknown man who is staring at her. He has burnt the dead bodies of their children. DCI Odette Rain is assigned to this case. She holds a meeting with the team and tells them that eight victims are each officially missing person until last. Our killer must have known that the house is vacant. Earliest crime goes back 11 years and the most recent dates back to last year. Who would have the kind of space, time, or money to do something like that? This has been carefully planned and executed over a number of years, so there'll be a lot of data to parse. But, you find me one point of commonality between these victims, and we will have our killer. A letter comes to Luther, 65.8 is written on it. Luther learns that it's a radio frequency. It's a recording of Roby murdering Callum. He is blaming Luther for all these deaths. He appeared before him but he could not catch him. Luther is in a cage because he put him there. Meantime, Corrine visits Luther in prison, admonishing him for not finding her son's killer. When Corrine sits in the car, we learn that Roby has brought her here. He consoles her to help her in every way. Later, Luther informs Rain of the broadcast and wants to help her with the case, but she doesn't want it because now it's her case. She tells DS Archie Woodward, Rain's subordinate to get Luther's phone confiscated. Luther calls former associate McCabe to break him out of prison. He agrees to it, till then officers come and snatch his phone. He liaises with prison guards to get him transferred tonight. He says we can't, there are systems in place. His plans are to have the prisoners attack him and the system will have to relocate him. He says if it goes wrong, spin out of control, you're dead man. They'll kill him. Luther is prepared for any outcome. At night, a prisoner try to commit suicide in the cell, but the guards save him. Then he makes them unconscious and runs away with the key. Guards are also involved in this plan. He opens all the cells due to which there is chaos. Many prisoners want to kill Luther. They set fire to his cell. They try to kill him but he fights back to save himself. Considering Luther's life in danger, the guards decide to transfer him. But on the way his car is stopped. McCabe rescues him from here. Rain also gets the news of Luther's escape. Rain brings in retired DSU Martin Schenk as a consultant. He finds from Luther's belongings where he might be. He tells Rain that the killer got him using an FM broadcast, 65.8 FM. Trace the frequency to the source and you'll find Luther. Luther reaches the broadcasting location. On a little intimidation, Derek tells that he was blackmailed by a man by recording some of his videos. This transmitter arrived by courier. He was told to leave it running for 24 hours and then ditch it. He just does whatever he says. He always contact me on text message and never uses the same phone for more than a day. The police also arrive but Luther escapes. Now, we see a place where many people keep an eye on people from all over the world. They monitor their phones, cameras, tablets and home cameras, all of them. And after knowing their secret, they blackmail those people to make those people do their desired work. In this way, Roby enjoys killing these people. Like he blackmailed Callum at the beginning and call him to the dead body. Luther gets the Roby's location of Piccadilly Circus from Martin. A lady and a man are standing on the roof of the building, with cameras around their necks as if they are about to jump. Luther calls from Derek's phone which Roby receives. Rain deploys armed police SCO-19 who want to catch Luther and Roby. The two confront him there, and he grabs a kid and puts a knife to his neck. Roby says that this is just the beginning. If you are thinking that you have got me then you are wrong. When Luther looks up, some people he has blackmailed cause a distraction by killing themselves jumping from buildings and crashing cars. There is chaos here, getting a chance Roby escapes. Luther chases him to the subway. Roby escapes into the London underground after fighting Luther and murdering an armed policeman. 
Roby calls Rain's subordinate, D.S. Archie Woodward, and asks why he didn't tell him that Luther was there. He didn't know that Luther had escaped from prison. Robbie calls Kachimov and asks if he has prepared the place in the last livestock. He has kidnapped teenagers. Roby tells to bring them to his secret place. Martin calls Luther to know if he is alright. Luther tells Rain that we've all got something that you don't want anyone else to know about. Something you're ashamed of. It could be something sexual. Could be financial. Could be criminal. Problem is these days, people live their secret lives out on the internet. So he thinks Killer is probably lurking, fishing for secrets, and he bet Killer is not going to them. He blackmails to make them come to him. Because Luther thinks he's probably figured out that in the right circumstances. The fear of shame, the fear of being called out, the fear of being caught is way more powerful than the fear of death. During this conversation, Luther's location is traced and a team is sent to catch him. Later, Rain calls her daughter Anya and tells her that she might not be able to drive her tomorrow so she can take a cab. Anya feels as if someone is at her house. Then Roby kidnaps her. Luther comes to meet Corrine and tells her that he has seen the killer. He thinks the killer knew something, that he was balkmailing Callum. That's why Callum must have gone to see him, to give him the money. He thinks she knows that killer. He asks if someone new has come into her life since she lost Callum. He could be anyone that she possibly met at the support group. She tells she met Tommy at support group. He lost his wife and he also took her to prison. He's been in the house picked up these pictures, commiserated with her. Luther now puts all suspicion on Tommy. Martin points out that at least five families have been in some way befriended by a man in his 40s. The names differ but the same approximate general description. But each of these men claims to have a wife who burned to death in a house fire in Eccleston Square. On checking the record, Roby's details come out. Then Roby calls Rain and tells Anya is with him. If she wants her daughter alive, Luther will have to be killed. Rain calls Luther to tell him that he is right about the killer. He's worked his way into their lives, befriended them. She calls him to meet her. When Luther and Rain meet, she reveals that Roby has kidnapped her daughter. That's why she wants him to come with her, so she can get Anya released. Luther says that both of them can work together on this case, and no one will know about it. She reluctantly agrees to work with him. They visit Roby's ex-wife Georgette. Rain tells that Roby has kidnapped her daughter. She tells he owns a mansion in rural Norway. Luther calls Martin and asks for the last favor. To get Anya back they leave for Norway. Roby calls Archie and asks about Rain. Archie tells he set up an alert on her passport, and she is probably on her way to Norway. Archie is blackmailed by Roby into killing Georgette, but is intercepted by Martin, who was sent by Luther to protect Georgette. Luther knew that Roby could kill his wife, because she had revealed the secret location. That's why he had already sent Martin to protect her. But Archie commits suicide by injecting poison himself. Luther and Rain travel to Roby's mansion in rural Norway. On going inside, they hear Anya crying. Many dummy bodies hanging there. There is also a girl among them but she is not Anya. Luther enters a secret room. Kachimov catches Rain from behind and Roby attacks Luther. Luther is strapped to a chair. He discover Roby tortures kidnapped victims on livestream called The Red Bunker for his followers. He tells his viewers we have a surprise opening act for them as tonight's special guest John Luther. Those who are watching it live put money on Luther's death. This is how Roby makes money. Rain is also brought and she finds Anya alive. Roby forces her to stab Luther. She stabs Luther to save her daughter. Then Roby tells Luther to break Rain's knee. But he doesn't do this, but tries to convince the people watching them. Luther reveals Georgette has told the police the location, and they are en route. Watching torturing people is a crime and the police will reach you through your IP address. People who are watching this video get terrified and go offline. Luther attacks and kills Roby's man. Roby runs away from there and locks the door as well. Luther releases Rain's hands and walks out. The sprinkling of kerosene begins in that room. After a while, there is going to be a fire in this room. Rain and Kachimov have a brutal fight. Roby tries to escape with his truck, but Luther also enters it. There is a lot of struggle between these two. Then truck crashes into a lake. Roby tries to get out but gets trapped inside and dies there. Luther unlocks the door through Roby's phone. Because of it Rain and Anya are able to escape the bunker. As soon as he himself is about to faint, divers appear. Martin has brought them here. In this way Luther killed a psycho killer who was unnecessarily killing people. Luther is also arrested as he is an absconding prisoner. The news of Callum's murderer's death is on the news, which makes Corrine happy. She is glad that Luther kept his promise, recovering from his injuries back in London. He is approached by Cranfield, a senior official with MI5, who, it is implied, offers him a job in lieu of going back to prison. That's all for today. Thanks for watching.